to the court documents that we have obtained, there has been one charge of misdemeanor sexual battery filed against jo uh, Willard Coker. Now, Coker is the head coach of the boys basketball team at George With, and a criminal complaint filed against him makes two separate allegations in December of last year. Now, the wording in the complaint indicates that the uh, victim was a female student at the school and the student was the one who filed the complaint in it. The first incident allegedly happened on December 5th. The student writing that day at an event she saw Coker. They were quote trash talking before she ran around the corner. She says that Coker followed made an inappropriate comment before tapping her rear end. She then says that the next day allegedly Coker grabbed her rear end during another interaction and claims Coker made another inappropriate comment. Now the student says they went to school administration about this and and was told that they would handle it and Coker would be removed. Now, according to the court documents, the student says Coker was not at school for a few days, but then returned. She says that left her feeling unsafe and she is afraid to come into contact with Coker. Now, this afternoon, we talked to some parents and grandparents about these allegations, and here's what they had to say. I'm shocked to hear it. I mean, I, 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 this school here, I, it's kind of hard for me to believe this happened. Because we both went here, but it makes me not want to send my kid back. For real, because all the stuff that goes in when you leave your kid, you feel they're safe, but then it's something like that, and so you never know. Now, we reached out to Richmond Public Schools about these allegations. They said in a statement that the matter is currently under investigation. We asked about his employment status at the moment. The school would not say, but said it was a personnel matter and they could not provide any additional information. However, CBS 6 has learned that Coker has not been with the team and coaching for their last two games. We've also reached out to the attorney listed on court documents for Coker for comment and are waiting to hear back. Working for you in Richmond, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.